Hey girl, hey. Yes, it's me. So it's been a minute since I have done like a literally, it's been a minute since I've sat down and done like a face to face, talk that talk type of video with you girls. And that's what we're going to get into and do today. No voiceover, no traditional wig install type of video as far as like talking or whatever. I'm going to just talk to you girls today and do this wig install okay so anyways before we get into today's video y'all already know the quick rundown before i even get into the install before i even do anything big shout out to west kiss hair for sponsoring today's beautiful curly wig and we are about to install this beautiful wig this wig is a lens for a lace <laughs> I'm excited, clearly. <laughs> this wig is a lace frontal wig from West Kiss Hair. This wig did not come bleached, but this wig did not come bleached, but it looks damn good to not be bleached. This wig did come lightly plucked, but that's okay because I don't feel the need to go in and pluck at all. And y'all know how I feel about a very lightly plucked wig, so yeah baby we ain't gonna do nothing to this wig um but some of the dark knots on here is still visible so if you decide to bleach the knots on this wig let the bleach sit a little bit okay but the lace color is really good so that's why i that's why i felt like i didn't want to go in and bleach the knots on this wig because i felt like it was pretty good but I feel like concealer will also hide like the dark knots or whatever. So the knots are really small, so I don't have to worry about them being like super visible and um, super big. So that's one thing. So look at these curls. That's so pretty. My hair is still wet. I just washed the hair, but the wig is the wig cap itself is dry though. So I was really trying to decide if I want to do a bust down middle part or if I want to do a side part, like. The hardest decision in the world <laughs> when it comes to doing your hair is do you want to do a bust down or a curve part? Like, really? Who who really knows? It's always the battle of the two, for real. So, I feel like I always do bust downs. And I just, I'm vibing with side parts right now. So, I'm going to do a curve side part. Yeah. Um. So, this wig is a little too big. But before I start parting, let me just zoom in a little bit on the hairline. Hold on, y'all. Y'all already know I like when a wig comes with not so much hair in the hairline. I like when it's not on the full side. So it's like it's plucked, but it's not as full on the hairline either. Sometimes you can get a wig where the hairline is super full and it just look real wiggy. So I like when wigs is not this full on the side. So this is really pretty. The curls, look at how pretty this is. Okay. Look at that, y'all. This is so pretty. Damn, how I get it perfect that first time? All right, so I think I'm gonna just add a little bit of a wax stick. Okay, so when it comes to my parts, <laughs> I really had to concentrate. But that curved part is perfect, right? Ben Wonder Lace Holding Spray, y'all. This stuff is bomb. This stuff is so much better than the Got To Be Spray. I mean, the Got To Be Spray is like a secondary thing in my book. I still use it, but it's not my go-to holding spray at all. I love this stuff. It's definitely like my go-to melting hairspray period so normally I like to use my makeup brush and apply this directly but my makeup brush is hard as hell right now <laughs> because I forgot to put it in water so it could um it could uh, loosen up so it's <laughs> it's hard as hell right now where is it 
Look at how hard this is, y'all. It's It's hard as hell, so. But I like to do before I cut my laces, I like to secure my lace. And then like once I got my lace exactly where I want it to be, then I'll go back and like cut my lace or whatever. The companies that get it, get it. When it comes to cutting your lace, you can cut your lace with different tools, okay? I've seen people use an eyebrow razor, which you can get from your local beauty supply store. I've seen people use scissors that you can get from anywhere. I've seen people use kitchen scissors. Girl, whatever you can work with is doable. Um, I prefer to use scissors because I have more control over how much lace I'm cutting. And then I like to do reinstalls. With the scissor, um, with the, the razor comb, I mean, I think I can, I think I can use it if I just use it more. But it does give a more natural zigzag type of install versus with the scissors, you're gonna have to go in and create the zigzag. But with this type of razor comb, it's going to naturally zigzag. But you also don't really have control over how much lace you're cutting off either. So, I mean, you just have to pick and choose which one you think you'll have a little bit more um, better experience with, really. So, yeah. So, I like to go in and cut my lace once I got it secured. And then I go back behind and add some more spray. And then I go ahead and tie it down. And then that's when I do the styling. So I like to start in the middle. And then again, I go kind of close to the hairline and I just start cutting in a zigzag motion. And again, you can do that with the razor comb, but you know, you just don't really have much control. And you might, I mean, it just depends on, you know, how good you is with your hand. I'm better with scissors. And whatever lace is like showing or still visible, we're going to go back in with some spray and we're going to melt that in. So don't even worry about that. And try to get as close as you can to the hairline. And honestly, this side, I really don't worry about too much because I know my hair is going to cover it up. So it's really not a big deal to me personally. just going to help like with the lace blending into your skin and 
making sure everything is flat and so basically putting a headband on is going to allow that lace to melt into your skin it's going to allow the spray or adhesive whatever you're using to secure your wig down is going to allow it to start to melt into your skin it's going to make that lace lay down it's going to make it become invisible depending on what type of lace you got depending on what type of product you're using it's just going to help secure everything and make everything look a lot more blendable and super natural so while the lace is doing this thing i like to go ahead and start styling my hair and so in this case i have curly hair of course so i'm going to start defining my curls i was watching a youtuber and she put me up on game and i don't even understand how i did not know this because I've been doing wigs for so long and y'all know this y'all know I've been doing like wig videos since wigs like was introduced to YouTube it's been a long 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 time so, <laughs> so she was like y'all let me put y'all up on a game stop wetting your hair and getting your wigs to look super flat just only apply curling product like curling mousse curling cream don't wet your hair just define your curls and go and girl when i tried it i was like this what i've been missing the whole time wetting my hair is so not the vibe like i don't like that look i don't like for my hair to look flat i like for my hair to look big but super defined and soft so y'all know i've been rocking with the cantu curling mousse for a while i used to use the mousse the blue mousse um damn i forgot the brand and i don't even have no more but that's still my go-to mousse but i like this mousse right here too so So this curl pattern is different than what I have tried in the past and I say that because like the curl pattern isn't tight but it isn't like super defined either it's like r big ringlets but I like it it kind of reminds me of like back in the day wet and wavy hair let my hair dry and I'll be right back while I'm letting my curls dry I'm gonna go ahead and just do my um, baby hairs okay not necessary to curl your baby hairs but I have noticed that it does work better when you I use the same product in all of my videos, but in case you're new here and you've never seen me install a wig, I'm using the Got To Be Glue um, gel to secure my baby hairs. 
I just love this stuff. I I've tried other stuff, but it just doesn't it doesn't do it for me. So this is one staple product in my makeup to start rolling up into the hair. So like I got on makeup for filming purposes, but like if you can do your frontals without makeup, especially like around the hairline, you're gonna have a cleaner install because you don't have no product interfering. All right, y'all, so it's turning out really cute. My camera went dead. So um, I didn't add any more product to the actual curl pattern itself, but I'm starting to notice that it's frizzing up. It's frizzing up a little bit right here. So I may have to go in with some product to keep this from frizzing right here. I don't know, but it's still kind of wet, but this side is actually perfect, y'all. So I don't know. I think what happened is I used a brush too much on this side because that's the only difference. I used a brush. So don't use a brush on this wig. Um, I did go in with some eco. I did go in with some um, extreme gel though. Y'all know I love this, especially for my natural hair. So I did go in with this extreme gel right here. And I just applied this like on top of my roots just to kind of help slick it down and give it like a smooth look on top. And I did not apply this all over because it weighs the hair down, but now it does give beautiful definition. I don't know if you can see that right here, but like on the rest of the strands of the hair, mm -mm, it'll weigh the whole hair down. So like what I might do is just add like a little bit right here, but I'm not gonna see, see what I'm saying? I can't add this all over unless I want to wet my entire head again. But that's why I said I'll just do it to like the front. So you can see that definition in the front. I was going to pluck it, but then I felt like I don't really need to. So this is what the wig looks like when it's still, you know, damp um, from the product. Doesn't have any water in it, but it is loaded with. <laughs> it does have wrapping foam in it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let this hair dry. Do some stuff around the house. Um, so I'll definitely continue to use this method instead. But I do want to see what this wig is going to look like once the hair is completely dry. Okay, y'all. So. This is what the wig looks like once it is completely dry. Curl pattern is beautiful as I knew it would be. And so right here, I am just basically fluffing up the hair, giving it some shape. I was a little skeptical at first because I was like, ooh, do I need to bleach the knots? Do I not? But I felt like I really didn't need to because the knots were super small. I really wasn't sure if I needed to bleach the knots because I kind of felt like I didn't need to. I kind of felt like I could get away with not bleaching them. Bleaching the knots, especially like once I add powder and concealer, I felt like I didn't need to do that. And honestly, I was right. So I'm so glad I was able to skip that process and not worry about it. I was also happy that I did not have to pluck this wig. Like y'all, I feel like in today's world, who really got time to pluck and bleach wigs? Like those days are gone. Like who's still doing that? 
seriously like i mean you can do it if you want to but we got options like for real we got options so who wants to be spending all their time plucking and bleaching wigs no so yes west kiss hair definitely delivered today on this wig this wig is so pretty definitely a win um love the lace love how it blends into the skin it was super easy super easy to get this lace to melt into my skin and get my baby hair exactly how i wanted it to be i did not have to worry about any type of plucking this wig laid flat without any issue i did not have to pluck the um the part which i normally always have to do on all of my wigs i did not have to do that with this wig surprisingly the foundation did its job i ain't have to do nothing girl 